An excellent way to protect your forms that are making Ajax requests to WordPress is to use something called a WordPress nonce. Now, a nonce has been uh, created by WordPress to ensure that if you're making an Ajax request and it's coming into your WordPress uh, infrastructure, that WordPress has a way to identify that that Ajax request is from your website and not from someone else's. So it's very easy for any website or any program, say like Postman, to make a post request to any sort of URL. We need to protect it in WordPress to ensure that it's only coming from this website. And for example, this form, we want to make sure that when someone fills out this form, it is coming from this website and it's not some bot that's trying to make uh, spam on our website. So a quick example, if we go to our form code and we type in w, uh, php echo wp underscore create underscore nonce and inside there we just put a keyword. So let's just call it test. Refresh, you should see there's a nonce which is the uh, basically a bunge, bundled letters and numbers and this expires every, third, every certain amount of time in WordPress. So if the nonce that is sent with the Ajax request is not the same as the one that's on WordPress and it's current, it's going to reject the request. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to send this nonce with the form so that when we receive it in our functions.php that we can identify that it is a correct nonce and then process, otherwise reject the request. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is go to our JavaScript and in our JavaScript, we are just going to append something else. Okay, so we'll just go underneath here, form data, append, and we will just call it nonce. You can call it whatever you want. And inside there, we will do php echo wp create nonce, and I'll call it ajax nonce. So you can call it whatever you want, and that's what is used in functions.php to identify the uh, the nonce. Okay, so if we now go to functions.php and right at the top before we process anything, we want to do if, and then within the if statement we do is not wp verify nonce. So basically if the nonce is not verified, now the first argument would be the actual nonce. So that was called nonce I believe. I've said nonce quite a few times in this video. I'm sorry about that. Um, that's called nonce, okay? And then we need to tell it uh, what the keyword is that we, uh, when we created the nonce, what it was called. So the keyword is Ajax nonce. So basically it's gonna check if the WordPress's nonce max, uh, matches this nonce. Okay, now if it doesn't, then we just want it to die. So the script to die. And also we wanna, uh, possibly send an error, send JSON error, and we'll just put nonce is incorrect, and we'll send it back with the 401 code, which I believe is like a rejected request, okay? And we'll go back to our form into the JavaScript, and this is the error function. And as you can see, we just want to do that. So alert error dot response JSON dot data. And that is going to get the data, or it's going to basically alert the page nonce is incorrect. Okay, so how can we make the nonce incorrect? Well, we could just basically go to form inquiry and do like uh, add in some extra, extra letters there, refresh it, and then try and type out this form. And you should see nonce is incorrect. Therefore, the form does not get submitted. But obviously I'm going to remove this so that the nonce is going to be correct. Refresh it and I'll type the form again. And as you can see, it's gone through. So with WordPress nonce functionality, we have been able to secure our forms to ensure that they are only submitted through our website. I hope that helps. Thank you.